welcome DTM Week in Review with Justin and Corey. Uh, quite a week it was. I'm going to dive right into it. We started a new messaging strategy, basically posting updates. So we're taking early entries and uh, as analysts, um, it doesn't always fit the risk to reward profile for newer users because they may not know how to manage the added responsibility of adjusting stop losses and uh, just staying on top of the trades. So that's what we found in, in any ways, but there is a lot of demand. So we started posting out early entries. When I'm taking an early entry, I share with the community that we are posting it as well as stop losses to give it a little extra added boost. So this is an example of one that paid off quite well. So we took an early entry. I really like seeing these double bottoms. Uh, we see bullish divergence typically. That's where that comes in for those that are a bit more technical. And we are able to climb in for a really good price. The sell side pressure does provide really good entries as well, fills those orders quickly. And uh, as long as those hold, we can ride a stop loss up. So we realized 41.89% on this one. Um, and that's literally as soon as that candle closes, we move our stop loss to basically you know, 5% profit, lock it in, and then just ride that sucker up. So this is a four hour chart, really good returns for four hour investment of our time. And then once that next candle turns, we can move the stop loss to that level. We can take profits or whatever. It's our TP1, right? So this is a really good example. And then the other one here was just another example. So we saw some really good movement uh, dropped a little bit lower. So we talk about setting up and uh, support on entry uh, or letting it prove itself basically. So we want to see this set up support. Uh, it was a little bit lower, but that was okay. It did break through and then the next candle did set up support as well, but we got an earlier entry on this one as well before this candle. So worked out really well again, and we're looking at 42 to 50% profit again. Uh, so two trade setups this week, and uh, that's not even the end. We got into another one, Geek. Uh, one of my favorites actually turned out into be a really good farming opportunity. So we had a trade set up. This is the second or third time we put it out now um, where we got in roughly around here, wrote it up for some nice profits. Uh, stop loss strategy is a prime example on this one because that one did have a nice spike. You know, if it stopped us out, no big deal, but you can sometimes catch these with that last 25% or 50% or more if you're riding, depending on your strategy for these higher percentages too. So up to 95% uh, or a little bit higher, you know, 100%, 110 if you got in a little earlier. Um, then we put out another one as well. So we missed a little bit of the action. Actually, this one we got twice as well. So this was another one of farming, you know, 37% move, TP3, TP4 by the time we take profits on that. And then we posted a new chart. So this again, right after posting had a nice spike. We got early entries right on that EMA and rode that up, you know, taking profits along the way. But even at TP4, that's a nice 36 and a half percent, right? So um, it did come down, make a little bit of, you know, sideways chop held quite strongly. This was the BTC drop. And then we get into some, you know, more updates. Really, we talk about this on the live calls. But getting into some of these green dots and getting that early entry right when it makes support on our entry uh, or a little bit ahead of time for the more aggressive traders that are managing their risk profile, uh, you can get into some of these rides that are 35% plus. So this is one that we're going to continue to farm. Um, sneak peek don't uh, assume that this chart is live depending when you're watching this video it is old content right so not financial advice obviously but just a sneak peek behind the curtains and a little bit of a freebie for you know those that want to take advantage of it as well as it's you know holiday season so we want to give a little extra at dtm always uh but that was about it that i covered for this week so pretty tremendous i mean depending on which coins you were in uh, there was one stop loss and uh, for the most part, I think we were 130% for the week or something like that, cumulative total. So 
Yeah, it's been a great, great week, great few weeks, great few months. Um, December was awesome. It was great to see some of these coins popping off and make Christmas that little bit extra special. Um, so what I wanted to share, so we, we put some results together. We went back from January of this year all the way to current and just started tracking all of our trades. So tracking whether they had take profits, whether they were stop loss, whether it was a no entry, we didn't see support at our entry and it fell through, whatever it might be, and started piecing together so we can get some percentages, right? It's all about measuring. If, if we're going to improve something, we need a mechanism to measure our performance. So that's what we built here. So I'm going to open this up. So we've got November here. Um, we've got all of our trades closed for November, so we can show these results. December's still going, obviously. So I've got all the trades set up here. So you can see the trading pair, the date that it was posted. So the 1st of November, the highest take profit hit, because that's how we track our accumulative total. The highest take profit, that's all we track. We're not we're not going to do TP1, TP2, TP3, TP4 and add it all together because the results get messy. So the highest take profit possible and the time it took to achieve that profit. And then we've got no entries. So we did not see support at our entry. So for all of our new traders, uh, new to DTM, we always suggest waiting for support. And you'll see why here in a second when we start looking at some of the percentages and accumulative totals. So all of these trades are now closed. We're moving down. So we had a total of 31 trades. And out of those 31 trades, we had 17 of them hit take profits. 13 of those were no entry. So if you were following our, our suggestions and waiting for that no entry, then those trades were no, we didn't enter those, we're all good. So we had 18 trades left over if we remove the no entries, okay? One stop loss, that's all we had. And we hit a total of 47 take profit levels, 47. So that's pretty cool. That gave us an accumulative of over 311%, just shy of 312%. And then this right here, so total without our no entry. So if you follow that, didn't take any trades that didn't come to our entry zone, and you just took the trades as they hit our entry zone and followed that strategy, there was a 94% chance that if you entered that trade, that you made money on that trade. So super cool to see. And that's because we had that one stop loss, which was only for five and a half percent. So a lot of times what we see too, and something to, to, to state as well. So we had that stop loss of five and a half percent, but all of these other trades, most of those take profit levels are higher than that stop loss, higher than that risk, right? So very, very powerful. And if you went cowboy and just piled in on every trade that came out, there was a 55% chance that you would have made money on those. So pretty cool. Um, and then I like showing just our year end totals. So we don't have December included in this, keep in mind, but here's our year end. So to date, we've had over, we've had 275 trades and 158 of those hit take profits. So we had 93 no entries that left us with 182 trades that were profitable. And we had, or that hit entry, sorry. And then we had 22 stop losses. So 390 take profits total. We're over 2,500% cumulative. And if you jumped in every trade that hit entry, it's an 87% chance that you were in profits. If you piled in and cowboyed on every trade that came out and didn't follow the strategy of waiting for support, still a 57% chance that you made money. So that's pretty cool. And then we broke down the uh, quarters. So again, we, we did this just as much to share with the community, just so you can see some solid results and, and know what you're working more working with, but just as much for us, because this is a performance metric. We can dive into this data and and just start making those small tweaks. Like our goal is to have that percentage keep climbing. So really cool to see. Absolutely. And for me, that's also a big focus of mine moving forward. We adopted the new strategy, I think six weeks ago, eight weeks ago, something like that where we're providing a lot more information, much more as far as updates, as far as just 
giving people an inside look into what we're doing as far as our trade setups and how we're managing them as the trade matures as well. So just because it didn't hit entry doesn't mean that there's not profits to be made. That's where advanced traders are farming in the meantime. You know, some of these we're seeing, you know, we top it at TP4, but that doesn't mean that it didn't hit TP2, three, four, five, six times before hitting TP4 twice, sometimes three times, four times with Geek, right? So that's where it can be super powerful where you're compounding these moves, as well as newer users. That's our biggest um, hurdle, really, as leaders in the space is how to make this as, a, as easy and as, as effective as possible for for our newest users, people that are super fresh, right? The ones that have been around for a while, they're used to a little rough and tumble. They know how to really, you know, back off, um, really just moderate your risk, really. You know, if Bitcoin's gonna take a big dump on the market, back off, right? Reduce risk, reduce positions, keep it super tight, or just take profits and walk away for a little while. Come back when Bitcoin is going to behave, when it's going to promote growth in the altcoins, right? Sometimes the best trade is the one that you do not take, the one that you do not make. And that can save you a lot of frustration in the long time, just like we see with the Cowboys, right? That's why we're fairly specific with our strategy of wait. You know, we give it as much time as possible so that people can prepare, build out your charts, set your alarms. We're producing materials to make that much easier, step-by-step -step tutorials on how to do this as effectively as possible. And uh, take all the guests, work out of it. This way, you know exactly what to focus on, where to focus, set the alarm so that you can live your life and do your thing, come back, the alarm goes off. It's like, okay, trade set up, let's go. And you've already marked out your take profit levels. So you know when you're taking profits, we've got the strategy on how to balance out those allocations. So we're taking profit at TP1, TP2, farming that stop loss in case we get a big spike and then get back into the market on the pullback, compound those moves. Sometimes we see 10, 15% swings, chop, 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 just like we see on Geek, right? So this is opportunity, whether it's a $300 trade setup or a 20, 50, $100,000 trade setup, there is a tremendous amount of opportunity in the space. And that's what we're proving here. That's why these numbers are so powerful. I mean, I don't wanna, you know, bring any bad omens towards us or bad energy, but, we rolled through this three Mount Goxes, basically. Mount Gox, if you're not familiar, was the number one biggest catastrophic crash for crypto of all time. We had three of those in six months this year. If you're still here, congratulations, because you survived something that most people don't. There's a small percentage of people that are still working, still building, still trying to build something that is greater for all of us, right? And that's the projects that we're finding. Those are the ones that are exploding in value doing 20, 50, 100% in just a matter of days. And we're able to capitalize because we're paying attention. We know what to look for and when to ease off, right? So uh, translating that into something that people can pick up super easy, super quick, just like a blueprint following a map, you know exactly where to go, Google Maps, you know, compared to trying to ask for directions, having that Google Map idea that pointer saying turn left in 150 meters letting you know when to turn left is going to increase your effectiveness right increase your profitability as a trader and then all of us working together are that much powerful working together right so um that's it for me today i don't think we need any more rants for one afternoon but uh <laughs> yeah anything else justin anything i missed no i think I think you hit it all, right? It really comes down to, you know, when you're when you're jumping in trading, it's it's a completely different activity than you're used to from a nine to five job, from coming through school. It's you have total freedom. You can put on a trade when you want, you can jump out of that trade when you want. You can trade this coin over there, you can trade this coin over there. You can hang on to it for dear life or you can scalp it. You have total freedom when it comes to trading. And that can be a scary thing for a lot of people, especially if they haven't been in something like this, right? So this is where the training comes in. This is where products like DTM come in because you it does a lot of that heavy lifting for you. And now it's just up to you when to enter and how to use that data from, from those trade setups. But it's all there for you. And, and then the percentages don't lie. 
like all of this data that we compiled, those percentages don't lie. So education, AUAs, free education, free information, Bitcoin Taft's got you covered. Just stay on it. We're moving into 2023. Let's make it better than 2022. Absolutely. I don't think anyone can uh, disagree with that. So as always, we want to hear that feedback. Let us know in the comments if there's anything you'd like this, us to cover more in depth. Hop onto those live calls same time every week. And we are introducing weekly trainings moving forward as well. Free live training events for helping onboard new users for our builders out there for, you know, those with friends and family that are trying to get into crypto and don't know where to start. We'll have that little hand up here moving forward as well. So much more to come uh, with that. Have a great weekend. Have an awesome new year. And we'll see you in 2023. Happy New Year's, everyone.